Thank you so much, Robert. And as temperatures continue to rise in the borderland, you might be seeing some wildlife come down in an attempt to get cooler. But what should you do if you encounter them? KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis spoke with an urban wildlife biologist who has some tips. I'm in an area where you typically see wildlife like a deer come down from the mountain in search of food or water. As according to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, you should leave them be as they come across. With temperatures at scorching hot numbers, the borderland is seeing more wildlife come down in search for water or areas where they can cool off. While they do have natural springs in their native habitat, there are too many deer to provide for all of them. When they are in residential neighborhoods, they usually have access to non-native foods to forage on. Urban wildlife biologist Lois Balin says that if you do happen to find wandering deer in your yard, do not attempt to feed them and make sure your home is secure. Do not even feed your animals outside, and if you do, make sure you take it in at night. Getting in. Malin says the animals are coming down for at least one of four things, food, water, space, and cover. If you are able to eliminate those factors, it can help reduce the amount of wildlife that come into your neighborhood. Later on KTSM at 9 News at 10, we'll have more about what you should do if wildlife ever ends up in your backyard. Reporting from Northeast El Paso, I'm Tommy Davis. Back to you.